Hello, Sarah. I like the name Nick. Classic, good old Nick. Saint Nick, he's good. Don't nick my facts, he's bad. Anyway, hello. Oh, by the way, I am Sarah. I've never done a FaceTime first date before. How will it work? Oh, like this, I guess. Thus, we begin. Oh, I, I guess you can see some of my flat behind me here. In a way, I guess you've come back to my place on the first date, which is a bit forward, which is a bit quick, Nick. But welcome. Come in. Chez moi. Mi casa su casa. Welcome to the land of my kitchen. I guess you can see some pants uh, drying just there on the cupboard handle. Uh, that's actually very in right now. I saw that idea in L Decor. L's a women's magazine. Well, or for men either. I hate them. The magazines. They're like, you should be thin and have pink velvet chairs in your house and be a polyamorist and have no pubic hair and work for Greenpeace and be friends with Christine and the Queens. Ugh. If only I love Christine. I just hope that she can maybe isolate with her queens. I'm completely alone. Uh, this is the ironing board. I also use it as a dining table. The adjustable height is ideal. <laughs> anyway, Nick, I'm not completely hopeless. <laughs> but uh, to be honest, I mean, there's something about lockdown. It just kind of makes me feel kind of honest. I did eat a chicken Kiev for breakfast. Uh, not straight up Kiev. I'm not a heathen. I did have some cress with it and a Ferrero Rocher. So that's all my food groups covered. Mm. I I'm pretty keen on chicken, to be honest. Although in these strange times, chicken can be hard to come by. So can eggs. Which came first? Who cares? Neither. Sainsbury's can deliver neither. <laughs> Which is fine. I'm not complaining. I've got some gammon. What is it? It's just in my fridge staring at me. I've got paprika Pringles, 42 onions, and one iced fancy left. I shall have to go to the shop again soon. But that requires donning a bra. And frankly, I'm rather enjoying the uh, roaming free, the um, breastage swinging wild. Oh, <laughs> I wonder. Am I flirting with you, Nick? Hmm, goodness. All this talk about my boobs. Hmm. You. Stop! Nick, you're a wild man! Ha ha! Um, so I'm trying to not go outside so that I stay well and I can deliver things to my grand's doorstep when she needs. Um, and I don't mind it. I've got a cactus. Uh, I call him Donald Trump. Sometimes I start a fight with him with a spoon. I have my shelf wiping routines. And I teach kids well. I entertain kids. I'm a kids party entertainer in real life and we still do them online. Uh, so this morning I was Ariel singing fr from my shell, from the little mermaid. I made my shell out of the old dog basket. And actually, I'm not too bad. I wanna be where the people are. I wanna see, wanna see them dancing. I hadn't thought, but what a pertinent tune. I do wanna be where the people are. I'm feeling a bit on my own, Nick. I feel a bit isolated here in massive, total isolation, weirdly. I mean, I guess maybe that's the point. But you know, I feel a bit yikes and a bit worried. And I get a bit eek, you know, like cripes. Blimey, what the shit? How did we get here? Oh, and I receive many a video, Nick, from my friends, many a meme to distract myself. People doing improv comedy in their living rooms. People quilting. People abseiling down their kitchens. Cats, cats moving. Cats far away and near. Kids, kids covered in jam. Kids screaming covered in jam. Parents kind of dancing with their kids, but really trying to film themselves dancing better than their kids and putting it on the internet. And my mother, oh Nick, before lockdown, I was like, if you go to the hairdresser one more time, I'm gonna grow my beard. 
it's not like a full beard, Nick. It's just like one really long black hair. I think I look like a Zen master. I'm like, Mum, if you go to the hairdresser one more time, I'm going to grow my long wise beard. And she's like, no, you cannot be my child. But I am. We're both five foot five and a half. We're both good at history. And both of our sweat smells exactly like herbs de Provence. Yup. A boyfriend of mine smelled it on her too. He's like, these women ready to casserole. Anyway, Nick, a date. <gasps> Did you bring me a gift? Will you sing me a song? Will we get along? Will we get married in some enormous ceremony that neither of us have any connection to because nobody really knows what rituals mean to them anymore? <gasps> Will I squeeze into a tiny dress and say, oh, I'm on a cleanse for weeks before the wedding, but really just be starving myself for the photos? Will you wear a really shit suit and have all the blokes from uni in bad coloured ties, like orienteering the grannies around? Oh, the grannies. Oh yeah, that's what this is about, isn't it, Nick? The grannies and the granddads. Oh, I really love mine. She's really glorious. I expect maybe you love yours too. Maybe I could meet her. Maybe we could quilt together. Maybe I could make her Kiev. I hope she'd enjoy it. So, we'd best make a start. We'd best begin. Hello, Nick. I'm Sarah. Thank you for suggesting a FaceTime date. How are you? Anything to say? You wallflower, you. <laughs> 